Congrats, do it for grants. What? No. <laughs> yeah. All right. But it's grand finals. <laughs> All right. So this is set. We we ain't no strangers to oh, this. Is a top four. Baby. This is the new age classic. This is what's to be expected in our winners finals. This is what's expected to be in our grand finals. This is what's expected of the city's finest, Venny and Jen, the best uh, skinny Latino boys in the city. Hispanic pride. <laughs> Doing it for their culture, their people, and their really good characters. Yes. Very they good are, characters. honestly, my picks for one and two in the city at the moment. I feel like those are very safe bets. I'll co-sign that. And these boys have always have a good way of showing off just how good they are. But I feel like when they have to butt heads against each other in bracket, it's really a good showing of not just, like, their skill behind their characters, but their endurance. True, true. Because Palatina is able to zone out uh, Greninja in a fairly traditional manner. Like, a whole lot of autoradical, a whole lot of, like, retreating bear or just pressing in with dash attack forces Greninja to make the most out of his mobility. True. Which we know Venia is very good with. At the same time, Greninja is a really good character for being able to just box in all sorts of different ranges. He's got all the speed to peel after he gets in his damage, go in as soon as he sees an opportunity and blow up any opponent. Or if he needs to play the distance game, he can do that. Spacing fairs, the shurikens, he's got plenty of ways. Oh, the up tilt off the jump right there. See, Venia was showing in a, a dominant example of how he plays this matchup against the Utopian in semi earlier. It could be different against the uh, Jen, which they which they always play all the time, because Jen can like figure this out and then like go around it too, but this could be the kill. DI's away, but you're still in a bad spot just to get hit by a palace cannon. Yeah, I feel like if you went for the smallest shuriken, it would have been fine just so we can get that air stall, but still be able to act quick enough. I like the idea, but going for the longer one was just a bit greedy on Venia's half. True, true. And like, to the note of how warmed up Venia is to fighting Palutena, he gotta watch out because the different styles of Palutena can really throw off someone. Because like, we're all used to seeing the same bread and butter, the same things to be expected of Palutena. But like, that little bit of flair that's added from each individual player can really throw you off, especially when it comes to those key moments like at the ledge or when you're trying to land. Really so important factors for Venia getting his game back to going. It's all player level right there because that's when you start seeing like, how different it is from your average everyday Palutena to like someone like Jen. Right, right. Who does certain things that are different. Like that down air out of the shield? Like. Pretty good. Yeah, he shouldn't be doing that, but that's an option that Jen knows he can get away with. Like, Venny are gonna be staying grounded, so it works. Jen puts himself in the right spot to carry these uh, landing options, and then there. Obviously, he's not gonna take it. Not yet. And that's right. That was a really that dangerous was, one. That was yo. Crazy. That was beautiful setup by Jen. Like he got, he had the whole like ledge like blocked off for entry. The wall was set <laughs> up. And now he's getting the air pain train. Right there. No follow up. Off the platform. Relatively little damage, but he's still pressing out from the center stage. Beautiful spot for Palutena to be, especially with Stadium backing her up. Oh, the air. Oh, hello. What is Oh, almost got him. Okay. Bit of spaghetti, but we picked it up. Couple of noodles in the sink, but it's all in the bowl. <laughs> I'm liking these uh, anti-air uh, up tilts from Venny over here. Not getting the kill there. We're getting the perfect situation to edge guard. Not dead yet, wow. I feel like if there's any, like, this is the one place where you're gonna be seeing people survive that setup the longest, because you have to deal with Venny doing that to you all the time. And I feel like if, the, like, if we had the numbers in front of us, I feel like Jen would have like the most sets clocked in against Venia. I feel like these two have run into each other so often. They do. It's like New York is in that state right now where all the players are so good enough to like rotate like sets off each other. Like I've seen like like yesterday for example, I've seen Jewel take a set off of Venia and then win AON. The Buzz losing to Jen or Venia. You they lost twice to Venny. Yeah, you, like. see, you see Mr. E get a streak sometimes. John Numbers yeah. even taking tournaments too. Like yeah, he's been sneaking around lately. I know yeah, John's yeah. not in attendance today, but John, he's been looking kind of nice. And that was now a solid that he's game like by Jen. very strong game one. Media removal of. All right, so now we have the idea that we're going to FD. Of course. Oh uh, yeah. He okay. hit it like three times. It was like. <laughs> 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 
Yes, the Metal Mario. You see these guys know they okay. put the good songs on. I appreciate y'all. Um, yeah, like everyone like rotates off each other now and it's a, it's an example of a very strong competitive region, you know. These guys grind each other like every week. <laughs> Shows. And what a grindstone to put someone against. Like, if this is your regular practice, like, it just goes to show when you fight anyone of another caliber when it comes to their character, it's just not a snuff. Like, you see the way that Venia dances around other Politanas. Although, I find it really interesting that Jen let him go to FD. I feel like it's, it's common knowledge at this point that, like, FD is such a strong stage for Venia specifically. Not only just Greninja's tools are favored in it, but, like, Venia himself performs so well on it. True, true. At the same time, um, Jen, confident in his play, could probably fight Venia anywhere. Like even if it's his, you know, quote unquote, stage advantage. <laughs> like they probably fight on friggin' like orbital gate <laughs> if, they, if they wanted to. <laughs> if the stage is back, I love that stage, by the way. <laughs> like, yeah, it goes to show like how long these guys have been like playing against each other. How good they are against each other, like what they know. It only goes up from here, really. Try to do zoom with the down air, but not quick enough on the draw. Only one active frame on that down air is, makes it a lot harder to pick off than it seems, considering how often Jen throws it out. But like, payoff is huge. He crossed the middle of that narrative to get to the other side of him. Shield pressured him enough to get that dash attack in. No, that's not gonna oh, connect. Right, well, yeah. That's gonna work. It's like whenever like. <laughs> Palutena pops you up like that, it, it's like, it's time to guess, and if you guess wrong, you're, you're just gonna die. That's a very, like, top tier situation to put you, you know, to put people in. Well, she's just so powerful at the ledge, and I feel like Jen has such a concrete idea of what he needs to do from like a character to character basis, that his ledge play is just getting further refined the more that we watch him grow as a player. Mm -hmm. That the text. Using the up to push, getting a little bit of damage in. But they try to run up there to get some confirms, but. Jen fighting. Oh, the Nair? Yo! <laughs> Nair? Okay! It just kills, alright? She was not usually, but alright, I yeah. guess that's how we're doing it. I'm supposed to play with catching. Oh, he's trying, he's trying, Why he are you swinging? He really tried to come back swinging, like. Like, I mean, he, like he needed to do that, but... Like, we know it's Venia, we know he stays swinging, Oh, no, no tech, no tech. Oh, the upper challenge. That's a good move to catch jump swift. That is... You know, taking notes. Yeah, this character's kind of nice. Here comes the pain train from Jen. Yeah, that's crazy. All of that, all of that was just answered what? immediately. Oh, wow, that almost was like... That was See, almost like all if Venia knows there. Jen wants it, so he keeps on moving his hydro a little bit outwards. Like he starts it just a, a, a fresh bit away from the ledge. Oh, wait, no, oh he should be fine. He's, he's chilling. He's chilling. What a situation. Oh, he got Whoa, picked up. He got dragged back on. Jen said, I'm not done. Oh, man. What a what an intense moment right there. That was crazy. Back was going to do it? Nope. Quick chuck. You're in a bad situation, Venia. You got to get out. Nice space back airs from uh, Jen. Ooh, hello? Oh, nah, 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 just yet. Oh, this is a close game. I don't know if he's going to take And then he chops his head right. off. Wow. Schleich. All right. That was a really weird last 30 seconds. That actually, that went in every direction. That was an adrenaline uh, pumper right there. That was this. You didn't know who was going to kill who or when who was going to die. Yeah, like, no, that, that one was a mess. Good stuff to both players right there. Now we got a game three. We're going to FD again. Jen okay, if you say so. <laughs> like, sure. Why not? We'll go back to your stage. Very bold of Jen, so let it happen, because I feel like Venia was playing a little bit more comfortably. Although, to the credit of Jen, being able to just pick into, like, all right, this stage, no flats, all ledges. I'm that confident in my ledge play. Like, that's at least the mark of a good uh, player to, to, to that end. Okay. But, like, I don't know. I feel like I was definitely too close to call for that match. And he definitely got way too screwy too quickly. Well, he dashed past him with that up tilt there. That was just a sneaky sort of thing. I 
actually really like how much Jen is using auto reticle in this matchup. Just the three quick bolts just to help check Venia's movement is really smart. He's getting his licks in with that, but... Same time, Jen... Yup. You gotta be careful with those early warps. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. You, you die as early as like 90 right there because of that. Oh, no down throw back there? Okay, that's fine. You're still in a good spot, you know, keeping him on the ledge. Any hit can take it. <laughs> it legit just rolled past. Alright. See, now, what I noticed from, like, uh, Ray's set with, with uh, Venia, Jen is, is a little more aggressive, so whatever, like, Venia is trying to do with, like, the, the boxing out with the jump neutral bees, Jen's, like, sneaking himself right past that just to hit him. Be like, you're not doing that against me. You're not trying to zone. You're not, you're not putting up this wall against me, essentially. Yeah, it's not worth as much effort to, to like, bunker down and try to zone because Greninja is just so fast. He'll be able to break that zone, especially when you consider, like, how specific Palutena's zoning tools are. Like, even with very finite, like, minute control of Explosive Flame, it's not able to move. It's, it's immobile as a projectile. And Auto Radical is pretty unreliable when it comes to, like, once it selects its target. Yeah, same thing can be said uh, about Water Shuriken, like... I think Jen can like dash past that, end up right next to him, and then hit him. So, both of these players are gonna have these moments where they're just gonna like catch the other one slipping, whether it be Jen trying to jump away and being up tilted for it, or hitting Benny with a nice shielded uh, dash attack or back air just to, just to get him in a good position. Oh, there he goes. All right, he's still trying to swing. He's still getting away with it. Oh, wow. The poke on the shield in order to get that up smash to connect. This is his whole name in that back here. <laughs> Interesting use of side B to recover, but now you're... This is one of the few instances where we've ever really seen Daniel get sick. blown up for holding in so hard. He's able to tie up the stock count, but I'm actually really surprised with how many hits Jen managed to get in while holding the uh, stock lead. This goes to show that Palutena can get the world off the straightest hits she can get. Well, Venia has to like put a combo video on her, just to, like... Get something, you know, get like 50. But if Venia wants to take back this game 3, he's got to open the gates, like, right now. Otherwise, Jen kind of running away oh, with this, this one. This has to be it right here. Oh, no. Oh. You're doing a whole lot of stomping. The up tilt. The drag down? But he wasn't placed right with the jab, so another opportunity lost on Venia. Oh man, this is so scary. Why did he jump oh, off stage? Okay, okay. Scary for, for Jen right now, because Jen can take one hit right now and die. That's the same thing. Challenge, can be said really smart. What's the moves? The Nair, wow. Stop back wow. Okay. No, it's not, not yet. Not yet. That's surprising. What a good edge guard from Venia. This is it. This is going to be the momentum start for the next game, because this is Winner's Finals. we got one more game, at least. we see plenty of 3-1s today. Oh. This might be a set to join the ranks. The oh. forward air, well spaced. Yeah. Didn't need to move forward at all, <sighs> just neutral jump, forward air. Caught him swing. Good work on Venia bringing that back, because that was a, that was a whole stock deficit. These guys are having, like, a really amazing set. Even though, like, it doesn't show on their faces. It's like a, it's like a regular day in the office on the right. corner of their faces. Right, but, no, like, but they're it's, focused. It's honestly, like, if I were in their shoes, I'd, like, my heart would be racing. Because <laughs> of how close these games have been. We got to see it go to game five before we, gotta, that. we get any shaking. And right back out of the FD again. These two are just, like, focused on swinging on each other. They want to fight. <laughs> they want no distractions. In game, though, but yeah. <laughs> Shield poking. Oof. Where are that you was, going? That was the side B of the stage. I think he wanted neutral B there. Even opting to not go for something meaty there. Yeah, Jen, a couple of times now, is often just, like, land on Venia without pressing a button. 
And he, he's been rewarded for it by not getting swung on, but it's also like super dangerous. Because we've seen how acclimated Venia is to being able to just <laughs> casually anti-air up smash, and that was a great call out with the explosive flame. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, we hit in there. Oh no! Not sitting there. Oh, he misses. He's trying to get single hit to start his combo, and I like the idea of it because Greninja sits Ooh. low to the ground, so you need that to scoop, but at the same time, it's so dangerous because you just DI and out. Teleported right in the space there. Ooh, the double back air? Okay. This is such a slug fight. These B reverse auto reticles. Uh, oh, I love it. It's so unnecessary. I misspoke. They are necessary in helping that micro spacing aspect and also like feigning out Venia because how often are you going to move around while using auto reticle? At the same time, though, it's like. Oh, I thought that was it. Sometimes Jen's just vile. Sometimes you just be like that. I wonder if forward smash would have pushed him further, but I knew what he was trying to go for. He should have like get a wind kill or at least like a strong enough hit from the smash attack. Yeah. Time. Nevertheless, it's the throw. That's not gonna kill. Good DI on on Venia. That almost threatened kill though. It did. Kind of early. Messed up. He was he was dead. It's amazing how these two are playing, just like walling each other out here. here. No counter there from Venio. Down tilt. Venio getting aggressive off stage. Down tilt, up smash. Not gonna take it. Not gonna take it. Sorry about Like any other up smash is just such a good move for him. And the one good dash attack from Jen brings it back to two one for his favor. Ooh, the nair. Okay. Whoa, he just went straight up and died. Okay. All right. And then he's making the dodge and die, but... Sure. In a way, like... I don't know if it was just poor DI or intentional, possibly. Like, Ooh, not let nice Venia run with any of the momentum. Venia is slightly avoiding the, the flame by angling the up B like that. No JV. DI's in on down throw. Double Nair, oh man. Venia's got a hill to climb in order to oh, get the Oh, he ain't dead. climbing nothing, not in this game. Oh, no, still alive. Alright. Double Psych. Alright. Double Psych. And the Palutena dominance right there on the ledge trapping. Yo, he really died at like the very corner. If you watch like the little grid, he went to the very corner to blow up. So, look at it again. I watch it pop. Alright, so we see the, we see the throw. Alright. I wouldn't have lived that. Air dodge. Alright. Greninja so dead. Pretty. He tried his damnedest to DI that save. Oh, yeah, he was dead. All of them hits connected and it was Man's like went right hit. to the corner pocket. Alright. Here we are. I love how every game so far since the first one has just been on FT. Because they just they just wanna fight. It's such a bold call. Because like I don't know. Honestly, Jen, Jen's made it work. I feel like I've emphasized it enough. The Venia is so clean on this stage that it's like a death sentence to, to let him go here. But Jen stares at that in the face and he's like, nah, I'm good. He's like, oh, you good on FD? I'm good on FD. Fight me. And okay. he's, he's just made it work for him. Final listening. Because, like, none of the previous four games have been, like, runaway games. It's now been like, all right, Jen is steamrolling. Or, oh, Venia is just clocking. I'm like, no, these have all been really good interactions. And outside yeah. of like a little bit of nervous play in like a couple of choice situations, it has been a really strong showing for both players. Venia trying to catch Jen uh, shielding uh, too much. You know, trying to shield poke him through this pressure. But Jen's doing a good job just outboxing him, getting his straight hits in and just getting the percentage lead over here. All it takes is one good hit, and that's a good stock lead for Jen. Nice parry on the forward air. And the... Uh, you got buffed. All right. <laughs> Substitute is so silly. It's yeah. such a good counter. Yeah, and the way Venia uses it where he just comes back from the ledge with it to catch a uh, matching is really good. And, like, he hasn't really used it a lot since game one, so... He's got, like, a 99.9, <laughs> like... 
like he's, success rate with that counter off the ledge. Like he's looking good with it. Excellent piloting from Venia. Gets him back to stage safely, but another dash attack. Throwing throwing him once again. Oh, he dodges that? Oh, the jab is He's too to short. He's too skinny. He really thought he got her, but then I guess. Gotta go out of her near range. With lots and lots of air. Uh, Alright, wait for the other one. And oh, the push? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, cool. He should have just there. <laughs> Why didn't you dare? I think he had enough time to like like close range side B him and he wouldn't have he wouldn't have been He got a down smash. Yeah, I feel like that would have been safer if he just wanted the damage. E either way, either like way. Jen still has advantage, I'd say as Venia swooshes right in. Takes two hits from Venia, just take it all back. Nice use of the shuriken, just a cut the jump. Ooh, good combo. Can I get the jump in? I'll try to get the landing with an uptilt. Ooh, but. the patience from Jen. He waited the longest to get that back here. He's good recovery from Venia, but Venia trying to fight his way out the corner. Trying to call out a uh, button. Almost paid the price for it. The double down tilt. Yo, he's trying so hard uh, to swing! So he, he almost tried to cook him there in a situation where he was just like, I want an easy kill here. Gets thrown. It does do, oh, almost like the last game. Rare instance of Venia not being positioned right, and now he's not he's not playing from center stage. It's an intense moment right here. Anyone to take the stock. And the dash attack on the forward air. He thought he was gonna like jump it. That's why we bring our shields to battle. <laughs> Shield mightier than the sword at that moment. It truly is. <laughs> Attack. Oh, no, no. Where are we going? No oh, confirms. Jen decided this was his interaction to win. Oh, man. All right, oh, excuse okay. me, sir. There. Nothing. The throw. Oh, this my God. You were this in interaction spot. definitely started with Venia in charge. The forward smash off the whiff forward tilt. Good. Venia. Take no prisoners. Not at this stage of the game. Last stock. Venia bleeding right now. You gotta get all your follow ups here. Anything. And you can outspace and not get tossed right now because any whiff mistake could get you punished. Like these next two to three interactions are going to determine who has to work that much harder in grands. Or if one of these players is even going to be in grands. Salt up B from Vent Jen to get back on stage and the air dodge. Oh! Trying to challenge. Keeping him out. He's fighting back. He's fighting back. No Try pick up. Him. No. No ledge coverage from Jenner right there. He almost had it. Oh! oh, oh. The spot dodge! Alright! How did he not get grabbed? He almost died. So, so dangerous right now. The Look dash attack, not gonna take it. Yeah, that's he's gotta be a little bit stale by now. That's gonna take that it. back door from that uh, that angle? Yes. yes. That wow. will do it. And all it took was a kill throw to shut down Venia. Head on down to the game five. We see some fist bumps, Woo. but it's Jen who secures himself. Winner's side grand was... finals tonight for Saga 31. Jen guaranteed himself top two. Ooh.